Uh, last one of these, question seven, starts with the equation making this equal zero. I'm sure a few months ago you'd have struggled with that. And you might have had to resort to shift solving. You can still do that if you want to, but maybe we could just times this all by x, couldn't we? So we've got x to the 3 over 2 here, and another x is x to the 5 over 2, minus 4 equals 0. Now, if we add the 4 to both sides, we can make this equal 4. If we times both sides by 8, we can now make this equal 32. And you could now do the 5 over 2 root, or you could say, well, let's square both sides. If you square both sides, you get 1024. And then if you do the fifth root of that, you get 4. Lots of other ways of doing that. You could have, um, you could have done the fifth root first and then square it, and so on. But part B is what we're doing in this exercise. Um, we need to integrate this thing. And integrating, the power goes up by 1. And we're dividing by this new power, so timesing by 2 fifths. So I've got 2 over 40 there. So I've got 1 20th there. And here I've got the ln of x. Sorry, it's a minus there. Isn't it? So there's the integral that I'm going to get. And for the last part, they want us to do this between 1. Oops, sorry. They want this between 1 and 4. So we'll stick a 1 and a 4 in here. So sticking a 4 in there, 4 square rooted is 2, 2 to the 5 is 32. So I've got 32 over 20 minus 4 than 4. And putting the 1 in there, I'm just going to get 1 over 20 minus 4 than 1. So taking that away, I've got 31 over 20 minus 4 than 4. 